Here I have a part that I've done some feature recognition on. I've recognized the whole features. But what I want to do next is to modify the taper angle on these pins. You're probably aware that if I simply go in and select, the first thing that PowerShell would do is to remove the history tree because I'm now attempting to do a, a history-free edit on a part that has history and it can't combine the two. What we've had to do in the past with PowerShape is to come to the basic solid, the very bottom level of the tree, and copy that solid out. We've added a new command into PowerShape which allows us to rewind the history to any position. So you simply click a point in the tree, right mouse button, and select rewind to here. This gives you a little slider bar and you can actually slide this up and down and as you slide it up and down you will see the features below it reappear. Those above the line are still suppressed and are shown in grey. This means that we can now come in and make our modification. I'm just going to pick out the eight pins that I'm interested in. And then I'm going to come to the draft, change the taper angle to 2 degrees, apply that change, dismiss the form, and now I can say remove the rewind position. And all of the features are replayed and reapplied.